Starting with a triangle facing the direction you want your entrance to be, we'll add a square. Wall in all of the sides except this one where our door will go. Once secure, our TC will go in the triangle but next to the door. Leave enough room for when you get a glass window. Our first box needs to be all the way in this corner. The furnace goes on the opposite side. This should leave just enough room for a sleeping bag in the middle. The last two bags go like this. Now we have our basic starter. This will get you through the very early wipe, but we want to build the next part as quickly as possible. In the next part, we'll add these foundations to expand our footprint. Our new front door will go here for now. The rest of the foundations can get walled in. We of course want half walls above the raised one at the end. You can use a regular door here, but when you get your first garage door, this is the spot for it. Since everything we've built so far will be inside our bunker, we want to make sure the entire top is sealed. After the entrance, we'll add one more door to section off the new area. There are a couple of things we should add in here now to help us with progression. We can fit some storage in like this, and a level 1 fits right next to the raised foundation. Now that we have expanded out, it's time to upgrade some things in the first part we built. The first upgrade should be everything around the TC turning into sheet metal. This will make the raid cost about 8 rockets going right through the wall or through all the doors. At this time, I also like to upgrade this one by one. This isn't completely necessary until you have a garage door leading into it, but it is the best practice. From the outside, it is kind of obvious where the TC might be, but this can be built within 20 minutes of a fresh wipe, so people will not have enough boom to get in anyway. Also, this shape reminds me of something, but it's just not coming to mind. What does this remind you of? Keep it clean. Next will be the roof bunker, which will go on these foundations. Wall in this triangle, the top, and then this last wall should face this way. The roof itself goes on the end here. This is already a working bunker and can be opened by placing a twig triangle roof right here. Getting two garage doors in these frames should be your next mission. Since this half is sheet metal and this is stone, we want to start upgrading this side too. It's easiest to get rid of the level 1, start at the raised foundation, and upgrade your way back. Now remember to craft your level 2 before breaking the level 1. Once these rooms are fully sheet metal, we can add the level 2 into that triangle. Since a bunker is more efficient the more you upgrade it, let's sheet metal all of the pieces around it and the roof itself. When it's closed, it will cost 8 rockets to go through that. Next, let's add a stone triangle here to mark our elevator. A new entrance will lead into the bunker, but will also be on the second floor. We'll need a way up, so for now we can add a jump up on the back of the base. The half wall we build will have to be removed, so don't upgrade it past wood. Upgrade the remaining stone here, and then bring that triangle up two full walls of height. Through the middle of this, we can add a half height floor, which will come in very handy later on. For now, just place the door, and the new entrance path looks like this. Before you move past this part, you'll want to upgrade the entire TC room to HQM. Once we add the loot room, you won't be able to reach these walls anymore. Before we start adding honeycomb, let's first optimize our main core. All of the stuff we placed earlier can now be removed. This will give us a clean slate. We'll need a half height floor as a shell for a loot room. We can use the build up we built before to do this. If we add two triangles across the top here, we can bring a floor through the middle of this room. This immediately doubles the storage potential. One more thing we could do now is this. Come out of the top door and over this wall. We'll do the following build up. This top triangle can be brought through the wall, which will give us a much easier way to jump up. Now for the core. Do this at your own pace and as needed, but end up looking like this. All of your door frames should be metal now, and here is my standard 1x1 loot room design. We have some extra storage under the roof here, 5 sleeping bags for the bunker, some more boxes, and our level 2. Your first HQM upgrade should be this high foundation. 
Add this metal half wall to seal the foundation and at this time I also like to close off the level 2 into a glass window room. Just to show you, the TC can be easily accessed after removing the window. You don't even have to duck. For the honeycomb, first we'll bring up all of these triangles, then we'll bring up these back two squares. The final part will be bringing up this section which will also be our new main entrance. All of this honeycomb will be stone, except for a couple of pieces near the front entrance that will do last. With the triangles in, the base should look like this. Now we'll build up the squares that are on either side of the garage door. Eventually we'll have to upgrade our elevator, but this extra stone honeycomb will be fine for a while. In case you are wondering, this is the final size of the footprint for the finished base. For the entrance part, we need to get rid of this half wall and we'll want to add some sheet metal honeycomb to this indent. The middle wall here should face this way, although admittedly, it's not too important. At the very front, we'll use stone walls with both hard sides facing the triangle. The rest of the walls are normal. For the actual way up, we'll be using a triangle slanty roof right up the middle. Now we have easy access into our entrance and the first floor is pretty much done, size wise at least. Next we're going to add our second floor which will be storage, utility rooms, our main door path and more. Before we add walls, first we can upgrade above the core. HQM the two squares and these triangles which are above all the important stuff. For the entrance, we'll want two frames next to the roof with two doors that swing out. Add two frames off of each side and then the ceiling. Two more frames go on the end. The first four frames are for shop fronts to give us vision. The two frames further in are for double doors that both swing in giving us an airlock on each door. The skeleton of the second floor is very easy. We pretty much walled in all around the honeycomb that we just built. Next we'll add the ceiling. We can seal off most of it, but we'll leave one triangle open so that we can add an elevator up for further roof access. This here will be the location for our way up. We can wall these two sides and put a half floor too. Now it's important that not a wall, not a frame, not a nothing goes right here above this roof or the bunker will never open again. For the door up here, you'll want it to face the same way as the opening right below. This should also have a half floor in it. You can kind of get a feel for the basic flow and ideas of the base now. Now let's strengthen our front and semi-secure the rest of our second floor. We can add two frames to the front here and a sheet metal wall closing off half of the base. Since this door leads into the main part of the base, a garage door is fine, but if you can spare it, an armored double door is definitely preferred. Upgrade this one and further in we add these two frames, both of which get garage doors. We will of course add more security up here, this is the bare minimum. The next thing I'd like to do is upgrade the elevator that leads into the main bunker. Much to add inside, but from the outside here, the base is starting to really take shape. Before we finish the second floor, let's first finish the first. Right at the drop down, I've added a trap. I've added one here that will break this twig roof if someone tries to come in without building priv. Nothing else needs to be added, but upgrading all of these walls to HQM should be done now. The loot room, the entire roof bunker, except for the floor and the ceiling, this room and the triangle room. Once it's all upgraded and looks like this, the main core of the base is done. Now for the second floor. First, look at this elevator and we want to wall off this square on each side so that it looks like this. 
Next on the left hand side we'll add a sheet metal wall here and then upgrade and rotate this wall. This will be another loot room so we'll give it a half height floor and a frame in the front. The garage door goes facing out. We also want another garage door right after it. On the other side of the hallway we can add in our last two garage doors into these two frames. What we just did was section off our second floor. Next, now if you notice there are these triangles around the entire edge of our base. There's a total of five. These can be used in many different ways. One of my go-to's is adding three furnaces and then sealing it in with a window. Since we only need a stone wall worth of raid cost for that slot, this works just fine. Another great use of this is adding in a locker and sealing it the same way like here. The last option I tend to use is adding two vending machines. Now although they can be a little bit tricky to place, when they are finished you basically get two large boxes worth of storage into one single triangle. In this build I'm going to use one more locker room and one more vending machine room. This is an attempt to equalize space, security and size. These are all great options to use in many different designs. And like I said, add what you need to your personal preference. With all this valuable stuff now on the second floor, it's wise to upgrade the ceiling. Now it is easier to do this from the top. Up here, this metal triangle should be HQM, and then work your way around the door, upgrading the main core footprint to sheet metal. You can upgrade everything, but it's not necessary. The base is almost finished now, we just have to add our top floor and helipad. On the inside there's a couple of more things I want to show you to add onto the second floor. I've added in a repair bench, sleeping bags in two places, some basic trio hallway stuff, a trap protecting the roof, and this loot room over here is my standard 1x1. If you don't mind your level 3 on the second floor, this is the best spot for it. If you want it to be in your main bunker core, rearrange this bottom room like this to accommodate. To build the helipad and roof, first come out of the top door. Add a wall frame next to the HQM, then turn around and add these two triangles which are part of the helipad. This is going to be a very basic roof to keep the cost down. We're just going to add window frames around the entire part of the roof that is sheet metal, basically the main core. Now we can add the ceiling. If you have a preference on where to put the hatch, just simply leave that spot open. If you're really dedicated, you will break this triangle and add a hatch here. You'll also want to build a slanty roof above the garage door facing out. Now if we come out through the hatch, we can add three frames up here with a top. Two of them should get a shop front so you can see most of the roof when you come up and place a door on the last one. We can use this roof to stand on and this makes placing the rest of them much much easier. I can't tell you how many times I fell off my base not doing this. This will give you a bunch more angles to defend your base from. The final thing to do is to come down here and add these low walls around the helipad to give you some cover when you land. This is enough space for even a newer flyer to land on and you can even drive it inside here for safer storage. And that is pretty much the base. This is a great base you and your friends can build very quickly and very easily. It has a decent amount of storage, full utility and it's pretty good for its size. Ah, that's what she said. Too easy. Anyway, that's going to be it for me for now. So thank you very much for watching the video. See ya.